<laughs> so cool. Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Monday night, 7.30 on the nosy. And I, and my I gained too much weight recently, self am out doing an after dinner walk. I haven't done this in forever either. So the monkey's not walking, the monkey's overeating, the monkey's working too much, the monkey's not taking pictures. It's ridiculous. So I thought that I would get my ass up and go for a walk. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm bringing you with me because you need to go for a walk too. It's maybe like mid 70s, probably lower 70s. And it, I think the high was only supposed to be like 74, 76 today. That compared to yesterday where it was 95, 97, somewhere in around there. But with the heat index and, and the humidity and everything, it said feels like 109. And it felt every degree 109. It was brutal. We only went to a few places yesterday. We were talking about it today because we're trying to get stuff for the, the new patio being done. Did get furniture. I did manage to get a, uh, I got a grow cover to put over the chairs on the table so that they're not just sitting there getting rained on constantly or whatever. And I got it not a moment too soon because it stormed hard yesterday, last night, you name it. And um, I mean, it's still wet out, but that storm brought the temperature down 20, almost 30 degrees. I mean, if you consider it feels like 109 and today it's like in the, in the mid seventies, that's got like a 30 degree temperature drop and it's not gross and humid. If it were like this year round, oh my God, this place would be perfect, but it's not. All right, I'm definitely feeling carrying even the small camera setup compared to the Action 4 or the Pocket 3 that I've been using for months now. Although you wouldn't know it because I hardly ever film and post anything anymore. So I still have, well, I'm always going to have too much gear. I did get this A6700 though, or I mean, I didn't get it, but... I'm using it for my like bird wildlife photography because it just gives me that much extra reach. So I'm putting on the 200 to 600 and then with the APS-C crop, 300 to 900. Even putting the 70 to 200 on either the A7R5 or the AC700, I'm still getting some banger shots because the lenses and the cameras are just amazing. Okay, this is definitely, like I can definitely tell you that even though this is one of the smaller camera setups that I've ever used to do something like this, this is brutal. I am so out of condition. My shoulders are not in a good place to be doing this. Holy crap, they're screaming right now, and which means tomorrow I'm just gonna be miserable. So that also is really like pushing me to want to get into better condition again. And I know this is just an ongoing story of me saying, oh, I need to freaking lose weight and I need to get in better condition and da, 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 da. yeah well here we are again it is mm, Tuesday like 11 27 to be precise and I am just now leaving ye old homestead to go to the chiropractor because the monkey needs cracked I have decided that I enjoyed walking around yesterday vlogging because it helped for so many things. One, I, I felt fantastic going out for a walk because it was a gorgeous evening out. I vlogged, which I also haven't done in way too long. I didn't realize how much I actually miss vlogging. Remember, I used to post every single day, every day, seven days a week. I did that for, I think, a little over two years, and I got into this habit and this flow that I just loved and it felt wrong. Like if I came home and I was really tired or, or I was behind or, you know, for whatever reason, I decided that I wasn't gonna post. It was like trying to go to sleep without showering, which I can't do. I have to shower before I go to bed or I feel absolutely disgusting and I'll lay there and I feel like I'm laying there in a festering cesspool of germs and goo and it just drives me crazy and I end up having to get out of bed anyways and going and showering. So that's how I am or that's how I was with posting a video. As with most things in life, you kind of get into a, a flow and it becomes a part of your daily routine and then you miss it when you don't have it. I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna vlog this week. So here we are. So yeah, I'm actually like really excited. When I went for that walk last night, it was such a 
like soul soothing for me that it just sort of loosened sphincter, let in a lot more joy and all that kind of stuff. And I was like really excited that, that I was out walking and that I didn't have any work to do when I got back and that I could just relax and that the rest of this week is going to be chill. And I, I just need to, to suck all that good in and, you know, let the shit flow out and, and keep it out. And that's what this week is all about. Your shit crap. See, it never ends. I'm installing these like over the, the wheel well side bed containers. Okay, kids, here it is. The project is done. And it was relatively easy. Could have used a second hand, but that's okay. You pull this handle, it lets it go. Now you've got this, you can reach in, store all the stuff you need in there, which I have all my straps, my like ratchet down straps, bungees, tarps, shit like that. And now it swings out over the wheel well. And now you get to use all this space here that normally there's nothing that fits. And you remember I had the Milwaukee pack out there that basically covered like all the way out here and back. So I didn't have any room to put anything in there. And of course I have that one still back there, but that one is fine where it is. Now the bluebird's done. <laughs> I know I say that all the time and I'm never done because it's a never ending process, but everything is good to go now. I feel much better now that I got that space back and uh, life is grand. And I waited until the end of the day when it was nice and shady here so that I didn't like completely heat stroke myself out. Hi, Maddie. Okay, I'm sure that I didn't show you this earlier just because, but one of the things that I do or that I've done in the past is I bought a gigantic section, like a carpet remnant, so that I did not have to go out and spend $4,000 on a new cat tree every time he scratched off all the carpet. So, as you can see, right there, that was the other project for today. That's the first thing I did this morning after breakfast, and I probably should have redone that one too, because somebody likes to scratch it scratch, right? Extreme close-up of the cat I got a lot of shit done today. Let's hear it for... Getting shit done. Here, shit. Here. Greetings, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. And. Yay! Okay. There's a sleepy cat. We are going to go do more patio foliage shopping and stuff. Here's the planter that I didn't put together because I didn't realize it was 4,000 pieces of wood that had to individually be put together. So. Yeah, we're gonna go out and get stuff. So let's go get stuff. And here's shit in your eye. I'm gonna show you some stuff. Here is where we are with the patio. Again, I moved the, the grill over there, and for now, the table over there, and that's the thing that holds the umbrella. Now, over here, as you can see, We've got, oh, already spider filled. Um, we've got planters for stuff. And then that's the thing that it put together the other night. So that's together now. And then we have another one of those. Something could go there, we're not sure. As you can see, this I didn't do anything with. There's no weed thing, but look at all the grass that's already coming in. But look on this side, that does have weed stuff and grass is already coming in. Life finds a way. Here we are, plant life acquired. Clearly, shit ton of soil acquired. Now, let the planting begin. Mild heat stroke aside, here we go. The Maisy Arts Botanical Gardens. Won't be long before fairies show up. We already saw a big fat lizardo over in the corner, so at least we know they're coming back. And a dragonfly. And a dragonfly. There's sweaty baby. I'm very sweaty. Yes. Beat red. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're going to have to hose each other off. 
Okay, so I'll give you the grand tour. Here it is, mostly done. Ever evolving, our patio. We're gonna get some hangers for up under there because there's spots to hang shit. I'm gonna go in and get the uh, hummingbird. hummingbird. There we go. I can't remember what those damn things are called. Uh, and I mean, look at this compared to the disaster that it was like two, two and a half weeks ago. Yay. Katie's mother gave us this a long time ago and it's just been sitting in the garage. Now we have a reason to have it out here and I'm gonna look up how to properly fill that with shit that ain't poison. And hopefully we'll get some hummingbirds in here. Wish that was a little bit taller, but maybe it doesn't need to be. There you have it, kids. I'm whooped. It's hot as balls. I'm gonna have to cut the clothes off me because they're just stuck from being so sweaty. But thus endeth, as far as I'm concerned, as I ease into the remainder of this final day of vacation. It's been a wonderful time off. I'm not ready to go back to work. I don't wanna, but I'm not independently wealthy, so I have to, but I did enjoy myself off for most of this week. And uh, now I've got a shit ton of laundry to do because everything is just soaked from being sweaty. Yay. Okay, so there you have it. That's been a week in the life of the monkey. Haven't seen that in a while, now you have. So, before I have a heart attack standing out here, I'm going to go inside in the AC. So that's all you get. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.